An example of one-dimensional motion is free fall when an object accelerates due to gravity. You can use the same equations we have already found for one-dimensional kinematics, but using some standard conventions often used when dealing with free fall. On the surface of the Earth, the acceleration due to gravity is a fixed constant given by the symbol g. g is always positive and is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared. Usually, since an object moving up or down travels in the vertical direction, the coordinate axis is taken to be in the positive y direction away from the Earth perpendicular to the surface. Thus, the acceleration of an object in free fall is minus g, which indicates the object is accelerating towards the Earth. Thus, we can rewrite the equations of motion for an object according to this convention. Let's do a simple age-old experiment that involves free fall. Aristotle claimed that the speed of a falling object depends on its mass, or, in other words, heavier objects fall faster. Galileo, on the other hand, said the contrary, which is that the speed of a falling object does not depend on its mass. Who do you think is correct? Let's find out by dropping two objects of different mass from the same height. According to Aristotle, the heavier object should hit the ground first. Galileo would say that the two objects should hit at the same time. Galileo was correct. The speed of a falling object is independent of mass. Before we move on, here is something to think about. Although we know that in free fall an object's speed is independent of mass, why does a falling feather not seem to obey this rule?